Luke and Most Prime here, so it's time for another Star Wars YouTube reaction today. I think we're we'll reacting to Chapter 8 of Star Wars Heir to the Empire, by da which is animated by Darth Vangelis. So yeah, I've loved all seven chapters so far, and that's Chapter 8, so without further ado, go on and full screen, and let's go! Ooh, Star Destroyers. <clears throat> Sci fi as I see. Central to get the coordinator. A thorough debriefing. What report from Waylon? Roy Benjamin's pretty Waylon awesome as Thrawn, isn't he? No Nogri have failed, so too bad, and on to more pressing business. You promised me Jedi, Grand Admiral Thrawn. I promised you Jedi. And I will deliver them. What report from Wayland? The engineering team reports the cloak and shield schematics seem complete. But to actually build one will take some time, and be highly expensive for a ship the size of the Chimera. Fortunately, they won't have to start with anything nearly as big. Mm. Here are the specs for what we'll need. That's Louis Van. Oh, and we're going to need some advanced mining machines. Oh, minus. I believe they're called. Have intelligence to research. Yes, sir. One other thing, sir. The engineers report that nearly 80% of the Sparty cylinders we'll need mm. are fully functional. Sparty cylinders? More than 20%. Just that other bit of <coughs> technology I found in the mountain. So, 80%. That's excellent, Captain. Mm. Excellent. Is it enough? How very thoughtful of the Emperor to have left such fine equipment for us to rebuild his empire with. Instruct them to bring the cylinders to full operational status. Yes, sir. And about Skywalker and his sister? We'll use Nogri Team 4 next. Transmit a message with the you want me to transmit the message, sir. Not that I'm questioning the order, but in the past you've usually preferred to contact them yourself. He mate failed me. Sending the message through you will let the others know how displeased I am. And when Team 4 also fails you, will you be merely displeased with them too? Will you admit your professional killing machines simply can't handle a Jedi? What alternative do you suggest? Mm. That we concentrate on his sister and leave him alone? Mm. That you concentrate on his sister, yes. I think it best that I deal with a young Jedi myself. Okay. I need you with my friend. Preparations for the assault on the Rebellion's Sluis Van Space Dog facility have already begun. Some of the preliminaries to that assault... If he's going to fight Jedi, I would need one of those, you know, bird on his shoulder. But they'll suppress the force. My assistance was promised only upon your promise to deliver my Jedi to me. I will have them, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Does a Jedi go back on his word? You knew that obtaining Skywalker might take some time. Mm, of course it will. Luke Skywalker. Hmm. What else do I need to say? Why can't we do both? Explain, Captain. We could begin by starting rumors of your presence, Master Savoyov. Some sparsely populated world where you might have lived for years without anyone noticing. Rumors of that sort will certainly make their way back to the Rebellion. And there will be nothing there to connect you to us. While we find a suitable planet and start the rumors, Master Savoyoth can remain here to assist with the Sluis Van preliminaries. And we'll know when he makes his move. And in plenty of time to get you there ahead of him. Very 
very well, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Congratulations, Captain. Your idea seems to have caught Master Sabios' fancy. I apologize, Admiral, if I spoke out of turn. You served too long under Lord Vader, Captain. I have no qualms about accepting a useful idea, merely because it wasn't my own. My position and ego are not at stake here. Yes, sir. With your permission, Admiral, I'll go prepare those transmissions to Wayland and the Nobri teams. At your convenience, Captain. And continue to monitor the preparations for the Sluis Van operation closely. With Mount Stantis and Sluis Van both, the long path to victory over the Rebellion will have begun. Nice. With or even without our Jedi Master. Mm. Oh, Imperial March are back round there. Nice little touch. Is that Coruscant? And we've got an animation of Coruscant in the rain. Let me get this straight, Captain Soro. You alone, and without consultation with anyone in official authority, made the decision to cancel the Bimisari mission. I've already stated that. I've also stated my reasons for doing so. Which, in my opinion, were good and proper ones. Hmm. Captain Solo's duty was abundantly clear. To protect the ambassador in his charge and return safely to alert us. Alert us to what? Forgive me, Adderall, but I don't understand what exactly the threat is we're supposed to be facing. Wherever these greyskinned beings were, they clearly weren't important enough to be included in the Old Republic's records. A race that insignificant isn't likely to be capable of a major offensive. We don't know if that's the reason they aren't in the records. It could be an oversight or gap damage. Cool or else a deliberate erasure. And why would the Empire want to erase the records of an entire race? Maybe they saw the Old Republic's coming demise. They might have erased all references to themselves in hopes the Empire wouldn't notice them. Hmm. I still see Good point. no reason to make a fully-fledged military operation out of this. To reduce our glorious forces to the level of mere diplomatic entourage is an insult to their courage and fighting spirit. You can dispense with the speeches, Counselor. That reminds me a lot of this, and you may dispense with pleasantries, Commander. I here to be impressed by them. I wonder if we could get back to the original subject. I presume it hasn't escaped anyone's notice that the aliens were ready and waiting for us when we reached Bimisari. We're going to need tighter security for these missions. At both ends. Mm. Your attackers did suborn a local Brim politician, after all. All of which cost that much more time and effort. It can't be helped. If we don't protect our negotiators, the New Republic will stagnate and wither. Admiral, we will detail a force to accompany Councillor Organo Solo on her trip back to Bimisari tomorrow. Excuse me, tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. The Bims are still waiting, Captain. I know, but... What Han is trying to say is that I had intended to ask for a brief leave of absence. I'm afraid that's impossible. There's hmm. far too much work to be done. We're not talking about a vacation here. Leia needs to concentrate on her Jedi training. Oh. I'm sorry. I recognize the need to add new Jedi to our ranks. But for now... And has Moffa forgotten that she's having twins as well, for God's sake? Time. I'm afraid we need you here. Unless there's something more, we stand adjourned. You alright? You know? It was a lot easier back when we were just taking on the Empire. At least then we knew who our enemies were. Mm. 
Oh, wow. That's it. Well, that was a pretty uh, great episode of um, the Air to the Empire series by Darth Angel. So it was pretty great. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Um, so, see, the voice cast did a great job, especially Robert Benjamin as Thrawn. In what I like him better as Darth Maul in Star Wars Auto Comics series, comic dubs. But he's definitely great as Thrawn. And everyone else did great, so just Han and Leia's voices. So I did Amal Akbar and Mon Mothma and also the other characters too. And your animation was also really top notch. And music choice as well was very good as well. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely check out Chapter 9 soon as well. Um, so guys, this is me checking out Star Wars Air to Empire, Chapter 8 by Darth Angel, as he who animated the book. Um, so, um, you know, drill guys, be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to leave a lot more comments for you guys for to this episode of Air to the Empire. Also, the link to the episode will be down below in the description. So please go check out the episode, give it a like, and go subscribe to Darth Angel, give me a little more support, he's a great YouTuber. Also, be sure to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe for more videos coming in the future. And may the force be with you always.